Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. I'm pretty excited. We're installing some marker lights finally on the GMC Sierra AT4. We're gonna place them strategically in the grill. This is something I've talked about before. Let's go. So we are using the dual color Raptor style lights brought to you by Bright Source, which is the sponsor of today's video. I really like the idea of these because of the two color. If I want my Strand Siberia light bar down below, which you might have seen that video, it has a white DRL or an amber DRL or the floodlight. So if I have it on the amber DRL, well I can have my marker lights be amber. If I have it on the white DRL, I can make them white. So being able to choose between those themes, I think is pretty cool, which is why I was happy to look at installing these ones specifically. And who doesn't want more DRL action? So funny little story of how this even came to be. I was probably gonna buy marker lights anyway, but because of that light bar install, I had a viewer reach out to me, ask some questions about it. I gave him the information on where I purchased it from. He contacted them, did a name drop, must've gave them my YouTube channel name. They took some time to look into what I was doing. They must've liked what they saw, and they reached out to me for a collaboration, actually more than one. So hint, hint, another video will be coming. So here we are today. Thank you to that viewer, you know who you are. And let's get on with looking at these lights. Pay no attention to the randomly placed objects in this corner. They may or may not have anything to do with the next partnership with Bright Source that will be in a future video. So let's take a closer look at what's in the box. Now this is the three pack and you can also order individual lights. The reason I went with four is because I didn't know what the spacing would look like. I like that these do have multiple mounting options. We have a backing plate. We have an adhesive option and then we have this rubber grommet that this will sit against just to keep it a little cleaner and your install tidier. Everything is sealed though. You're not gonna have to worry about moisture um, getting in there. You should be fine. Now let's open this one up. Oh, it's just the single box times three. That's easy. So not only are they waterproof, they are also SAE or DOT approved, which means they're fully legal to use on the roads. So your mounting options are gonna vary. Remember, my grill may not be the same as yours. You do have the adhesive option, but then you're gonna to have to think of where the wires are gonna go. So you might have to drill a hole here or there. Lucky for me, I have this grill overlay. So I'm actually going to take this out quickly and then we'll figure out how to space these to get the nicest look. So if you'd seen the video of the install of this grill, you know that I didn't use any adhesive screws or bolts. I was able to use cleverly placed cable ties. Now I just have to try and find them. Oh, there's one. All right, we've got all four lights evenly placed. That's right, I'm using all four of them. I chose to use cable ties, which actually didn't come with it, but let me explain why. So this mesh grill overlay, the spacing of the holes, unfortunately does not quite line up with the screw holes. You can see there that it's blocked. No matter how I move it, it's a little bit in the way. And that would just make it so this would get scratched up or create some pressure or worse, if I over tightened it, crack it. And I don't really want to damage the grill. I'm confident that with the cable ties that I put on here, that they can all be nice and snug and not fall off. And then that way too, if there's any pressure up against the existing grill, all I have to worry about is the thickness of this wire pressed against something. So next I'm going to solder all of the white connectors together. I'll have to add some extra wire. These are 24 gauge and I have some extra 24 gauge here. So I'm gonna get all the colors connected because one's for the white DRL, one's for the amber, and one is the ground. So once we get all those connected, we'll have two leads that will run to our switch under the hood and we'll connect it to the same DRLs for the light bar down below. And then when I pick amber, it should have these come on as well as the light bar. If I hit white, it'll have these come on in white as well as the light bar. I'm running low on heat shrink tubing. So you may have noticed I chose to use a little heavier gauge wire instead of the 24 gauge because I'm hooking up four lights eventually all to the same wires to go to the switch. So a little heavier gauge, just in case.
Get everything soldered up. I got the heat shrink tubing on. I had just enough to get by. I'll have to order some more of that. I've got some wire loom that we're gonna to use to clean this all up because we don't wanna see any of those wires, the red and white ones especially, from the front of the grill. So we'll tidy up that in a second. And then because I had to use the wire that I had handy, I got two gray wires coming off of the white and the red. I wrote a little W on one of them to know this is the white wire. That leaves this one red and black is black. Okay, we have the wire loom attached. We have electrical tape. It's probably not my finest work, but we don't have much room for this wiring to be recessed back in there because there's some supports that normally we zip tie to. So this is gonna have to work. I put some cable ties just wherever the wires come out so we're not putting extra tension on the wires themselves in the back of the lights. I'd hate for one of those to pull out and then we'd have to undo all of this and start over. So before we go and mount it, let me just attach it to the battery, which I'm trickle charging here. There's the amber. Always a good idea to do your testing before you mount it on the vehicle. And then here is our white. I think we're ready to put it on the truck. All right, we got the grill back on, everything is ready to go. I fished the wire underneath the fuse box into my aux beam switch panel. I tied it into the amber DRL in the light bar as well as the white DRL in the light bar. So I'm just gonna turn on my switch panel with my handy dandy remote. That's in a different video. So the switch panel's on without the vehicle having to be on, I can do it either way. I'm gonna jump into the truck. The camera is going to see the bar come on here with the white DRL first. These should illuminate white. And then I'll turn that off and then we'll switch to amber down there and these should turn amber. And then we'll do a bit of a montage and then I'm gonna take a break for the night and I'll pick it up with you tomorrow. that little montage it's actually a few days later I got back from doing some off-roading hence why the vehicle is a little bit dirty I do like though that I can wire up these lights and have both amber and white either or you could actually do them at the same time but it's kind of a muddy look so I don't know if you'd want to do that but if you want to wire it up differently and keep it even more simple you could just tie the white LEDs into your DRL circuit just tap the positive cable on either light you could also do that with the amber ones just whatever your preference is, or you could do the amber ones here. But because I wanted the ability to switch from amber to white independently with my light bar, I chose to wire it into my secondary switch. Point being, there's lots of options out there. I'd like to thank Bright Source for making this project happen. It was a lot of fun. I love the look of the truck. I'll leave a link to their website in the video description below, as well as you can use the promo code DONSLIFE to save 15% and free shipping. Some restrictions do apply. I'll leave that information down below. Stay tuned because we do have another Bright Source supported video coming up soon. I think you'll like it. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.